case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1944, the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit presided over a case, Dioguardi v. Durning, which centered around the standard for filing a complaint and the necessary information required to entitle a plaintiff to relief. The plaintiff, who had imported bottles of tonics from Italy, filed a complaint against the collector of customs at the port of New York. The collector had held the plaintiff's merchandise for a year and then sold it at a public auction for a lower price than the plaintiff's asking price. Additionally, two cases of the merchandise disappeared before the sale. The plaintiff claimed $5,000 in damages, interest, and costs. The district court rejected the initial complaint, but allowed the plaintiff to amend it twice, with each amended complaint also being dismissed. The plaintiff appealed this decision, and the Court of Appeals found that the complaint contained valid claims of conversion and negligence by the collector. Ultimately, the Court of Appeals reversed the district court's decision, remanded the case for further proceedings, and advised the plaintiff to seek legal assistance. The court's ruling determined that the plaintiff's complaint met the standard required to avoid dismissal, allowing the case to potentially move forward to a trial or motion for summary judgment. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.